This is a typical workflow of a hydrological experiment. Some forcing is fed to some hydrological model to produce some output, usually a hydrograph. This week we have seen a lot of research being presented where one of these was changed while the other was kept constant. The reason for this is understandable. Setting up a model takes a long time and usually detailed knowledge on the model in question that usually only the researcher that has made the model has. With the water cycle, we aim to make sure that hydrologists can use each other's models and that a master student can do a model comparison of different models, neither of which she has coded herself. The way we achieve this is by turning models into fully encapsulated objects that run in their own containers and closed compute environments that contain all the dependencies that the particular model needs, without the hydrologist having to worry about that. Communicating with the model is done through an open interface from a Jupyter notebook. This will allow us to run a whole lot of models with different forcings for different parts of the world, which is exactly what we set out to do with this whole group of co-authors. If this sounds familiar, I've presented this introduction last year as well and showed some rough preliminary results. What we could have done this year was cut corners and duct tape our comparison together. Instead, we choose to focus on making the platform usable first. We are currently at the stage where we can proudly present the notebooks that run our comparison. Running a model in our platform looks like this. Most of what we developed is available in this package. Here we create a model object. And here we run the model and extract discharge at every time step. Pre-processing input data sets into model specific inputs is done transparently using ESM Voltal and was presented yesterday. Using a water cycle, hydrologists can work with each other's models easily. The following activities of our research group are first publishing a paper on the technology of the water cycle platform. From this point onwards, anyone will be able to install and use a water cycle on their own machine. Then finalizing and publishing our comparison study and thus making all used models and data sets available to the hydrological community. Finally, giving better access to the online water cycle platform for all hydrologists. Learning from experience, we don't put dates on these on purpose. If you want to be kept in the loop, either sign up for our newsletter on eWaterCycle.org or come talk to us in the breakout room.